Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is officially day 8 of this Walt Disney World trip. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos, make sure to go check them out. I will link them up there. Please don't mind the mess in the background. This is just the best lighting in here. We are headed over to Hollywood Studios today. I actually have no idea what the plan is. It's currently half past 10, maybe 11 in the morning. I am going to leave soon-ish and go find the others. But to be honest, it's been working quite well. It's just having like a relaxed morning and then heading out for the afternoon and just kind of seeing what's happening. We actually have a DAS pass for this trip which is making it a lot easier I don't think this is the kind of thing you can do if you don't have one of those or if you don't pay for Genie Plus or anything like that because to be honest the mornings are the quietest you can get a lot done but because we don't really have a need for that and the kids will be way too tired to stay all day we're kind of just doing relaxing morning and then head out in the afternoon and mostly try and stay until near the end of the day so if you didn't see yesterday it got very wild at the end of the day there was a huge huge thunderstorm and it was genuinely scary so hopefully the weather will be a little bit better today. Let's go. Good, thank you. How are you? Good. You're all set. Thank you. Guys, I so, so badly want a pair of white Crocs. I'm very, very tempted for these. They're literally just plain white Crocs, but they've got like the things stuck in them that are like Disney World themed. And honestly, honestly, I'm very tempted. They're $70, which is a lot of money. I don't know how much normal white Crocs cost. I think it's a lot less than that, but I don't know if I can refuse them because look how cute they are. So we are currently headed to Docking Bay 7 for lunch. I actually haven't eaten here before, but we've done our mobile order, so we're just gonna go and pick it up. And then we also have booked ourselves a DAS pass for Slinky Dog Dash, because these guys loved it, so they want to go on it again. Uh, but it's not for like an hour and a half, so we're gonna sit and have some lunch, and then we will head over and get on that. I am currently trying to tempt Rio to go on Tower of Terror with me, but I'm not sure if that's gonna manage to happen or not. So this is what we have. We have two of the kids' pasta with vegan meat and broccoli. This is the chicken salad. I think this is the tuna poke bowl, and this was the plant-based option, which is like falafel and bread. It all looks so good. That was a solid 10 out of 10. I reckon that's the best meal I've had since we've arrived. Rio has also enjoyed his. This is his second bowl of the kids' pasta. Lola is very happy with her drinks thing, which we purchased yesterday. And then, I mean, I think everything's going down pretty well, so I'd say this is pretty solid. So, uh, if you're looking for somewhere to eat at Hollywood Studios, head to Docking Bay 7. So, we still have another, like, 50 minutes or 45 minutes until our reservation for Slinky Dog. So, we're actually going to head and try and get on Star Tours. I think it's only got a 20-minute queue, so we're literally just going to stand and wait in queue. Hopefully, that'll be okay, and then we will be heading over to Slinky Dog Dash. That's one time to This one right behind you. Yeah, yeah watch out. Ow, my leg! Indiana Jones, it's getting a bit wild. So it looks like we've got quite a good seat for this. Thank you. 
actually stopped for a bit more food at the Back Park Express. But I'm still not hungry because we only had lunch a few hours ago. So I'm actually going to go and see if I can sneak on Tower of Terror because I don't think any of those want to do it while I wait for them. And then maybe later I will join back up with them and we will go on Rise of the Resistance. And there was one other thing we wanted to do, I think. I can't remember what. Let's do it. I'm not going to lie. I always said I would not go on this on my own. But I'm just going to chance it and hope that I'm not too scared. So let's do it. <laughs> You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the twilight zone. Both thumbs up, both thumbs up. Keep them up and wave your last goodbye. <laughs> That door is opening once again. This time, it's opening for you. You are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension in the Tower of Terror. I have to say, this Tower of Terror is a lot more fun and a lot less scary than the one at Disneyland Paris. I don't know why, it's like very, it is different. But the one at Paris, I did not enjoy. This one was so fun. I think the crowd helped because the crowd was going wild. It was so funny. Um, I'm now gonna head and see if I can get on Rock and Roller Coaster in the single rider. By the way, also, that said 35 minutes when I went in the queue and it only took about 20. They always seem to like over post for how big the queues are. So 20 minutes, that's like nothing for a big ride like that. So I think the Rock and Roller Coaster queue is about two hours or it was when I looked before. So hopefully the single ride will be shorter than that because that is a very long time to wait. What are you guys still doing here? You're we're supposed to be at a show. We're now. I'd like to introduce our lovely manager. Yeah, she's usually not like this. Yeah, she's usually worse. Yeah, she's usually worse. Yeah, she's usually worse. That ride is actually so good. Would highly recommend. If you don't like having your head shaken around though, probably don't want it because it does shake you around a lot. I think I wait for about half an hour compared to about two hours if you went in the standby queue. So if you want to save a bit of time or obviously if you're on your own, definitely do that. I am now debating. I've missed the last Beauty and the Beast show so I can't go and see that. That's one thing I haven't done yet. I think the others have already gone on Rise of the Resistance and they've left now. So I'm debating whether to go queue up for Rise of the Resistance but I think it's like 70 minutes and I honestly don't know if I can be bothered to wait that long. It is really good but I've been on it a few times so I'm just going to have a check see if it's still that long and then I'm either going to do that and then I'm just going to head back to the resort this evening. I might grab some food from the uh, restaurant there because I haven't eaten there before and then we'll just see where it even takes us. I might even go for a little swim in the pool. Looks as though Rise of the Resistance has gone up to an 85 minute wait and I do not want to wait in that. I have plenty more opportunities to get on it. So I think I am now just going to head back to the hotel for the evening. So I am just on my way to the bus but I just realised I am actually allowed to park cop. So I might actually head out a little bit later and go watch either the app cop or the Magic Kingdom fireworks again because I've only seen them once each so far. So if I can be bothered and I'm in the mood we will see. If not I might just go for a swim and have a little relaxing evening but make sure to stay tuned to find out. I hear thunder in the distance so it might be an immediate no on the fireworks. I do not want a repeat of yesterday but we will see. It does feel like a storm that is brewing. Also the wind is picking up. So we will see what happens, but maybe it is best that I'm leaving right now just so I can seek shelter before it gets wild. I've just arrived back at the room and there is definitely a storm about to happen outside. The thunder's getting closer, you can see the lightning. And I checked on like the weather app, I think like BBC weather, and it basically says it's gonna start within the next like 20 minutes. I have just ordered some food from Olivia's Cafe to go. I've got a tofu curry and then I also got a kid's meal of pasta just in case I don't like it. And if I do like it, I can always save the pasta or some of the food for later because we, we do have a microwave here so I can eat it like tomorrow or basically just whenever. But the only thing is because it's so popular and it's like a proper restaurant as well, I could only get 
can you hear that in the background? I could only get it to pick up in about like 40 minutes from now. So I'm gonna set off in maybe like 20 minutes, walk there, get myself a, a drink from the drinks fountain and then basically just wait and get it because I do not want to get caught in that storm. It's only about five to 10 minute walk from here, especially if I can like walk a bit faster. So I will be going to grab the food in a bit and then I'm definitely just gonna stay here for the evening because honestly, the weather is just gonna start getting wild any minute. And I do not want to be out of the park in that again. Guys, the storm has well and truly begun. Oh no, oh no. Can you hear that? Surely you can hear that. Oh my God. So it's now time for me to go get my tea. I'm literally just gonna sprint there and sprint back and then that's gonna be me in for the night because I do not fancy going outside in this. Oh, okay, let's do it. Also, I forgot to mention guys, this is the current look I am rocking. I am not risking it again without a poncho on. I know it's only like gonna be like 20 minutes or so, but yeah, this is how I'm going to go and hopefully I will stay fairly dry because it does have a hood as well. I have made it back in one piece. On my way there, I actually bumped into the bus at the first bus stop, which is like two minutes away from here. So I actually rode the bus around to the front, but then on the way back, that wasn't really possible. So I had to walk back and it started raining very hard. But I am now back. I had my poncho on, of course, so it wasn't too bad, but not the best. So let's have a look what we managed to get. First up, we have some cutlery, not overly interesting. I managed to get an orange juice that came with the kids' meal, a fruit cup, which is slightly warm, so I might put that in the fridge. But that also came with the kids meal. Oh, it looks like something's leaked. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. More cutlery, I don't know how many people they thought we had because I only ordered two meals. This sounds like a box of fries. We then have the kids pasta, which comes in quite a small tub, so it's not like an enormous portion. And then last but not least is the tofu curry. So that is here. It doesn't actually look like it comes with anything. I paid $22 I think for that and it's literally just curry so I'm quite glad I got the kids meal actually because there is not much going on there. There's no rice or bread or anything. So anyway I'm now going to sit and enjoy this meal. Oh also when I was there I found the cutest thing ever and I had to grab a couple mini like literally tiny bottles of Tabasco. Oh my gosh I just saw lightning outside. Okay I can't get it to focus. Here we go let's try and get it to focus. Like, how cute is that? It's literally so small. So I got a couple of them, more just for the novelty than anything. But I absolutely love that. I've literally never seen that before. I will say, guys, that curry was actually very nice. And it had a lot of veg and stuff going on, which is not always the case when you're, like, staying on Disney property and don't really have much choice of what you eat. So I would recommend it. But in terms of value for money, I think it was $22. And if you did want rice or bread or something to go with it, you would have to buy that on top, which would maybe be, like, another 5 or $6. So obviously if you're not worried about money then that's absolutely fine like just go for it It was very very nice, but for me personally the kids meal I think it was ten dollars and you got an orange juice or you could choose any kind of drink You got two sides. I got fries and fruit. There were other savory sides that you could get like rice I think you could get like veg there was loads of choices and then like a, a pot of pasta which looks quite small But actually I've not really eaten much of it because I ate the whole curry But like it's quite a lot in there so so for $10 for all of that stuff compared to $22 for literally just a pot of curry with nothing with it, if you don't have an enormous appetite or actually you could get pasta, you could also get rice and chips, that's quite a lot and a drink for $10. To me, that seems like the way to do it. So obviously, you know, it's completely up to you guys, but that is just a little bit of advice. Sometimes the children's meals are better and if it is like to go or a quick service, they will let anybody buy a kid's meal. You don't actually have to be three to nine. If you're in like a proper sit down restaurant type situation, I think they are more picky about it. They will only let young children buy the children's meals, but in this case it was absolutely fine because obviously they don't really know who you're buying it for. Anyway, I am now going to stay in the room for the evening. The storm is getting wild out there. You can hear it's getting very close. So I'm just literally going to stay here and relax for the rest of the evening. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a massive thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos coming very, very soon. And other than that, I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye!